Vector Inc. is a vector-based application which can be used in creating logos and other illustrations which are vector-based with your smartphone. And in today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to create a logo design from the scratch with your smartphone with Vector Inc. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to come into Vector Inc. And you just want to tap the plus icon which is at the top right corner of the Vector Inc. UI. Now, I want to go with a 700 by 700 pixel default size and we have this square shape. Now, I'm going to import um, I'm going to import the logo which I'll be using in today's video. I'll import it and we will be replicating it with Vector Inc. Okay, so this is a good size and I'll go over to my layers panel, I'll lock this layer and go to settings and reduce the opacity of the layer so that I can work non-destructively and I'll see what I'm doing. The next thing I want to do is to go back to this plus icon and create a new layer. Good. Okay, so now that we have this logo and you can see no matter how we try to um, tap it, it's it's not um, selecting. Now this circle is made up of um, circles and strokes. Now to achieve that we need to go back to our shape tool which is here and click on the circle tool. Now if you drag the circle you notice that it's not a perfect circle. So what I want to do is to head over to this to constrain the circle to be a perfect circle and then I'll tap on the next icon here which is to scale it from the center so we have something like this. So we have a perfect circle and I want to duplicate the circle and I'll increase the size of the circle to meet the other circle here. Okay great. Um, the next thing I want to do is to create, uh, is to add a stroke which I've added right now. So I'm going to add this stroke. I'm going to use this stroke and I'll place it in the center. Now I want to duplicate this stroke and then I will put it in the center and this will be on the horizon to be horizontal. Okay. Um, the next thing I want to do is to duplicate the middle stroke again and then I'll take it to the outside to the edge of this other to the edge of the circle here now just place it here okay okay great um, because I don't want to view the shape too much I'll just make these strokes small yeah because it's focusing on only this part of the logo okay so um, I'll make this smaller than this okay great right so I the next thing I'll do is to add another stroke now I'm going to um, rotate this to be uh, in the 45 degrees and then I'll put this here okay and I'll duplicate it and then I'll shift it down to this point right right here okay now i'm going to select both strokes and i'll duplicate it and then i'll rotate it to the other point like this and then i'll position it just about here okay now i will duplicate this um, strokes again and then i will take them to this other point exactly here okay now I have oh, we've succeeded in um, fully okay I don't think we need this uh, middle stroke so I'll just delete it and then I'll select all the strokes and I'll go back to the shape or the path builder tool and I'll begin to build the shapes so I'll come over to this point and I'll build the shape here and here I'll add these ones to it also 
the inner circles and the outside circles um okay i want to make sure that i'm selecting all the parts that i'm supposed to select and not going out if you go out you can also come back and clean it okay so just like that here and here now i don't want there to be selected so i'm going to clean it later okay so I'll just go back and clean this line here right so uh i think it's remaining this point inside here and mind you as you zoom in it lags a bit i don't know why the application does that so i'll just select here and uh, i'll go to the other point and you see that small point there where i will just select okay i'll select here okay so i'll just zoom out and once everything is in blue i know that i've selected everything so i'll go back to my um selection tool and we have this logo so i'm just going to change the color to black and then with both of them still selected i'll go back to my pathfinder tool and i'll tap subtract and this is it we have our logo so i'll just go and turn off this um layer and yeah this is our vectorized logo now you can um you can scale this down you can duplicate it and make it a stroked logo also okay there's stroke to it already so you can use this application to present your logos in different formats for your clients okay just like that so we have the stroke logo and we have the full logo but i'm just going to save this i'm just going to um I'm just going to save this like this and I'll put it in the middle for saving exactly and yeah guys that's how to create or that's how I created that logo just with vector ink application and if this tutorial helped you kindly leave a like subscribe to this channel and share this video to other people who you think might benefit from this video yeah that's all see you in the next video